All right, so let's now work through this VCAR 2016 paper two, question two question. It is adapted, meaning if you go look at the actual exam question, uh, we've just added a few extra questions in here, but it's pretty much identical. Okay, a travel company has five employees, Amara, Ben, Cheng, Dana, and Elka. The company allows each employee to send a direct message to another employee only as shown in the communication matrix M below. So as you can see, Amara can send a direct message to Ben, uh, and she can send it to everyone else as well. But if we look at, say, Dana here, Dana can send one to Ben, but she can't send one to Cheng, uh, but, and she can't send one to Dana. Well, she can't send one to herself. If you look here, no one can send a message to themselves, which makes sense. The diagonal is redundant when you come to communication matrices. All right. The one in the row E column D of matrix M indicates that Elka, the sender, can send a direct message to Dana, the receiver, and the zero in row, row E column C of matrix M indicates that Elka cannot send a direct message to Cheng. Cool. Construct a diagram to show the direct communication links between the employees. This question here is actually added in. It's not something that was in the exam itself, but it helps us to kind of understand what's going on. So we've got A, we've got B, we've got C, we've got D, and we've got E. Now, of course, you could have kind of written this in any way. This is just the, the way that I'm writing it down. Uh, and it will prove to be uh, what I think is the most helpful way to write it down. So looking at this, let's see how we go. So it's saying that A can speak to B. Well, A can speak to B, so I can put an arrow there. A can speak to C, so I can put an arrow there. And A can speak, A can speak to everyone. So A can speak to D as well and A can speak to E. Perfect. Next, B can speak to A. So B can speak to A means I need to put an arrow backwards. B can speak to C. B can speak to C. That means I need to put an arrow from here to here. And you know what? Let's, let's do it in another... Oh, no, no, no. Let's keep all the colors the same. That's to there. Uh, D, B can't speak to D, and B can't speak to E. C can speak to A, so C can speak to A, so I'll put an arrow back to A. C can speak to B, so I'll put an arrow back to B. Uh, C can speak to D, so I need an arrow there to D. And C can't speak to E, cool. D, can, D can't speak to A, D can speak to B, D can speak to B, uh, and D can speak to E, cool. E can't speak to anyone but D. So I'll just put an arrow backwards there. So that's what my diagram looks. Not the prettiest thing in the world. It's kind of shaky. Kind of real shaky, but let's just keep on going. Uh, to whom can Dana send a direct message to? Well, you know, I think we should be able to read this off the matrix a bit easier. So who can Dana send a direct message to? Dana can send a direct message to Ben and Elka. So we'll come here and we'll write Ben and Elka. This was a, a question that appeared in the exam. And if we come over here, Ben and Elka, 89% of people got that correct. Let's come back here. Find M squared, the matrix representing the two-step communication links. So what we're going to do is we're going to chuck this matrix into our CASA calculator. So we're gonna come here. Now this is a five by five. And it's going to be zero, one, 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 one. Then zero, zero, one, zero, whoa, my bad. One, zero, one, zero, zero. Ugh. One, one, zero, one, zero. Uh, zero, one, zero, zero, one. Zero, 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 one, zero. Then you take that and you square it. Sorry, square it. That is now representing our two-step communications. So if my computer wants to work with me here, come on, computer. There we go. So I'm going to say M squared is equal to, now, sometimes it's better just to start writing 2, 2, 1, 2, 1. Then it's going to be 1, 2, 1, 2, 1. 1, 2, 2, 1, 2. 1, zero one one zero zero one zero zero one there boop, to there boop. all right that is our two-step communication 
Amazing. Next, it says Cheng needs to send a message to Elka, but cannot do this directly. Write down the names of the employees who can send the message from Cheng to uh, from Cheng to. Sorry, let me read that again. Who can send a message from Cheng directly to Elka? So Cheng needs to send a message to Elka, but can't do it directly. We need to uh, write down the employees who can send the message from Cheng directly to Elka. So if we come back here for a second, so Cheng, if we highlight this, it'll be helpful. Cheng wants to send a message to Elka, but there's no direct way to do it. So we want to figure out who can receive a message from Cheng and then relay that information to Elka. So hopefully you can see A would work here because C can send it to A, then A can send it to E. Uh, who else would work? Dana would work because Cheng can send it to Dana, then Dana can send it to her. Uh, ben here wouldn't work because even though C can send it to B, B can't send it to E. So that means Adam and uh, Adam and Dana would be our keys here. So if we come down here, we'll write this out in full. What this is asking us is about the two-step communication. So that means Cheng could send it to Amara and Amara could send it to Elka. Then, or Cheng could send it to Dana and Dana could send it to Elka. Okay, last one here. Find the total number of employees Ben can communicate with through a maximum of two steps. So find the total number of employees Ben can communicate with through a maximum of two steps. To do this, we're going to have to find our total communication matrix, which is M plus M squared. So to do that, we'll come up here. We'll take my one step one, which is just this one here. If I can just grab it. If you just bring it down, then just get rid of that. And then we're going to add to that this one right here. And that's going to give it to me here. So that means I'm going to have to zoom in here to squeeze it in. We're going to get two, three, now this is, this is going to have to be small, two, three, two, three, two, 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 one, two, three, two, 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 one, 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 zero, one, zero, one, one, bang, bang. Let's just remind ourselves that this is A, B, C, D, E, A, B, C, D, E. Okay, dokes. So now it's saying uh, the total number of, find the total number of employees Ben can communicate with through a maximum of two steps. We need to look at this one right here. So through a maximum of two steps, hopefully you can see that Ben can speak to Amara. He can speak to Cheng. He can speak to Dana. And he can speak to Elka. He can speak to everyone, can't he? Uh, he can speak to everyone uh, through a maximum of two steps here. So that means, we're going to write here, he can speak to Amara, he can speak to Cheng, he can speak to Dana, and he can speak to Elka. So all up, find the total number of employees, it will be four. There are a total of four employees that he can speak through, through a maximum of uh through a maximum of two steps. If we come back here, uh, we're looking at Ben here. And as you can see, Ben can speak directly to A, to C, uh, but he can't speak directly to D, but that's fine because through two steps, he can speak directly to D. So too, uh, can he speak to E? Well, he can't do it directly, but he could send a message to A, then A could give it to, to E. So he can speak to everyone through a maximum of two steps. And that's kind of what our uh, total matrix is showing us here. If we come over here, you can see, uh, now, I think that's a different question. Let's ignore that. That is a different question. Our answer here is four. Uh, might just be a slight change in how we've adapted this question. So don't worry about it. Our answer there is four. All right. Hopefully you found this helpful.